the most obvious one is money. Um, most jobs uh, don't pay you so much. What's been happening is that in the context of globalization, the technological revolution we're experiencing, and neoliberal policies over many years, what's happened is an, a new global class structure has been taking shape. The precariat is not an underclass. It is wanted by global capitalism. People in the precariat are always on the edge of unsustainable debt. One mistake, one accident, one illness, they're in big trouble. And in addition, they face a mean, coercive welfare state. If you're working the kind of job where you don't need a degree, you get paid the bare minimum that they're legally allowed. It, I would say it crushes motivation. Um, I don't want to get up to go to a job that I don't enjoy, and especially not one that it's like barely worth my time. It, it, it's affording me to get up in the morning to go to my job. People in the precariat have a feeling, and it's genuine, that they have a level of education above the level of labour they expect to be able to get. It has a particular way of doing labour, unstable labour. If you're in the precariat, you don't have an occupational identity, a narrative that you can give to your life. I am becoming something. People in those circumstances where they're working a job which isn't good, it's not doesn't pay enough, or it's not enjoyable, I would guess maybe most of them aren't in a position to radically change that. But I learned from somebody whilst I was working in Canada that you shouldn't have to settle for less. Generally the way that I see it is if somebody is paying you the bare minimum that they are legally allowed to pay you, that's uh, it's disrespectful. It means that, like, it, it correlates to me that if you're paying me as little as you can and you're expecting me to do as much work as you want then that's wrong. One of the companies you set your own pay rate so that means that everyone's trying to undercut each other. I mean you could think you're worth £10 an hour but if someone else is going to do the same work for £7 an hour then they're going to hire that person. It's either work for that tiny amount of money or not work at all and get nothing. I don't want to have to rely on my parents, but the maintenance loan you get, it's not enough to survive on. And so I've got to do this precarious work to fund my studies. But really, that time should be used for me studying, to do what I want to do to help me in my future. But instead, I'm spending my time selling hot dogs. It's bizarre that it's easier to conceive of the end of the world than it is to conceive of an alternative system to the one that we currently have. And it makes me freak out because I don't see a way out.